So, uh, okay, this is fine because uh, I just included a small fill width. Let me include a bigger fill width specifier. So rather than 4, let me include 24. Now let's have a look after we run this. Let's run this. Now you see that we have included 24 spaces or 24 uh, fill width specifiers. Or more precisely, we have included 22 fill width specifiers before our value is being printed out on the command prompt. So let me show you or let me explain this entire fill width uh, specifier uh, or how the uh, how the thing is actually working. So let's draw the diagram. So when I say 24 or let me actually decrease that value. Let me close that because it's going to be a huge drawing if you start drawing that. Now let me get back to the drawing part. Okay. So when I say for filled with specifier that needs to be located before being the uh, before the value is being printed out, it's going to uh, it's the compiler is going to take this four spaces or the, this certain value and it's going to print that out and then it's going to place this decimal point uh, decimal digit or how's this working because because four can also be written as zero that means we are actually telling the compiler uh, by printing four before this f is that um, mr. compiler you don't have to bother about the fill width after that's appearing after the decimal point you just have to bother what's appearing before the decimal point or more precisely you don't have to bother about the decimal points that are uh, I mean decimal places that are appearing after this decimal point you just have to fix the fill width for the digits that's appearing before this decimal point so let's have a look how this is working so there are four distinctive part that we can draw one two three so one two three four now when the compiler actually prints that value it's going to take the first two digits because right now we have only the two digits and it's going to look at this format specifier because our format specifier is specified to be something like this and there is no point or there is no um, there is no point to worry about what, what what's happening after the digits that that are appearing after the decimal point that's why we are going to or the compiler is going to take those values or take the digits that's appearing before the decimal point and it's going to display or place them inside this for uh, inside this field with specifier that has got the field value of 4 so how's that field value working it's like 1 2 3 4 so within that it's all it's always going to start from the right hand side that's why it's going to take those value before the decimal point it's going to look at the value before the decimal point and see that it has got two digits so it's going to take the first digit that's appearing before this decimal point then it's going to place that digit on the fourth on the fourth box and then it's going to place or it's going to take the second digit that's appearing before the decimal point and it's going to place that inside the third box now because we don't have any value after the, those two digits that are appearing before the decimal point that's why it's going to leave both of those first and the second boxes free without actually putting in any sort of value because our fill width act, uh, explicitly said that we must have four boxes rather than two boxes that uh, that were assigned by default because now we are uh, assigning it by ourselves that's why we are saying that we need four boxes but because this four with 
or this uh, fill with specifier that has four filled values or the space of four fields that's why it's a pretty small value but when it comes to 24 it will have 24 values like that so it's going to go on and on if I draw that it's going to end up uh, beyond my screen so uh, likewise it will have 24 spaces so rather than 24 spaces just imagine that we have got 24 spaces like this and there are other like that and this were the uh, last two spaces which is the 23rd box and this is the 24th box that's why it's going to place the zero which is appearing before the decimal point on the 24th box and the two that's appearing before the decimal point it's going to place that two inside this 23rd box and it's going to leave those 22 boxes empty that's why we see a huge gap when we print that out on our command prompt let's let's have a look again now we're going to get clear how that's working let's bring up the command prompt okay I didn't put that up 24 So you see that it has taken the 23rd and the 24th box and it has uh, left the 22 boxes empty because we haven't defined any sort of values in those 22 boxes. And then you can actually combine both of them together like <clears throat> let's keep this to 14 before I showed you how to include or how to remove those trailing zeros that are appearing after the decimal point after the last digit of the decimal place so to do that we can restrict it to only two decimal points now let's have a look now you see that there are 12 boxes that are left empty before it's printing out the value that's appearing before the decimal point. Now we have explicitly told the compiler that we only want to see two decimal places after the decimal point. That's why it has cut off or removed all those trailing zeros and now it's only showing the actual value that we have included inside our variable called D and which is uh, 20.34 and this 3 4 is the actual value without any trailing zeros so that's how the fill with specifier is working now if we want to include more decimal places like this which is 3 1, one 2 3 4 5 so you can actually include 5 in here rather than 2 then let's rerun the program 